Welcome. In this two-part series, we will be taking you to two of our favourite towns, Winchelsea and Rye. We visit the grave of dear old Spike Milligan, check out amazing medieval churches, castles, the bleak shoreline of the pet levels and sample some of the local cafes. We end with a farewell to Little Red and cook up a yummy dinner in the van on our last night. Hello everyone. Hello. Welcome back to the channel. This is the final trip for the Little Red Camper mm. and today we have come to Winchelsea. So let's show you around. We had a rather frosty drive over to Winchelsea this morning. It's lovely and sunny but very cold and the roads are covered in salt so we're constantly having to wash the windscreen. We both have a tinge of sadness this morning as of course this is the last outing for our little red camper but don't be sad as there's plenty of adventures to come in our new van. For those of you who are watching from overseas, this is Winchelsea, a quaint little village near to the south coast of England in the county of Sussex. Interestingly, it's the first planned town in England, purposely built on a grid layout rather than developing in the more usual organic manner. Winchelsea was once one of the principal ports in southern England. But as you can see today, it's not connected to the sea. And that's because in 1287, a terrible storm destroyed the original location of the town. Today, the old town lays beneath the waves in Camber Bay. It had huge strategic importance though, and King Edward I ordered it to be rebuilt on a hill overlooking the pet levels. It is connected to the sea by the River Breed, which flows from Winchelsea to Rye, but more on that later. We're all done up like dogs' dinners. It is cold. Because it's freezing. It's nice when the sun's on you, but in yeah. the shade it feels below freezing. Now the central point of the village is obviously the medieval church of St Thomas Becket. Thomas was the Archbishop of Canterbury and he was murdered in 1170 by four knights on behalf of King Henry II. It's funny, but I expected this place to be really quiet it's actually quite noisy with cars, aeroplanes, all sorts of background noise going on. The church was constructed in the 13th century out of calm stone from Normandy in France. This stone has a pleasing creamy colour and is suitable for fine carvings. Although it is looking a little bit worse for wear these days. Time for lunch, so we're going to try the Winchelsea Beach Cafe down by the pet levels. Winter is the most challenging time of the year to film, I think. Always oh, got this low sun. Holiday camps down here. Okay, we've got our cafe down here somewhere, and we down at the end any minute now. It looks like it could be here where all these vehicles are. You just drove past it. Congratulations. Our uh, 60th U-turn of the day. And there's some big old potholes here. Can I drive in there? So it's on the right here, with a big sign saying cafe. Through the entrance. I can't blame her. 
The sun makes things really difficult to see this time of the year. Much easier to spot it coming in this direction. This time of the year they're open 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. and last orders for food is 2 p.m. They have their own music playing so I'm going to have to substitute some of ours to avoid a copyright strike. What are you having? Tuna cheese helped. Mm -hmm. With fresh flowers on the table, what more could you want? This turned out to be a very popular place. I went for the breakfast with two perfectly cooked eggs, some lovely bacon and a very tasty sausage. It was perfect. Carol enjoyed her tuna melt, so we were very happy with this cafe and would highly recommend it. You guys just have to squeeze through. See how you get on going through this gate. See, a little too wouldn't go miss. Back in Winchelsea, we got a brief glimpse of Camber Castle, so I want to try and see if I can get a drone flight over it. I'm going to try and get a look at this castle that we saw in the distance. Now you can walk to the castle, but uh, we've had a lot of rain and the ground is waterlogged and we don't fancy trudging through the mud. So my cunning plan is to let the drone do all the work. The castle is situated in the middle of the old marshes, so you can't actually drive up to it. So we're going to have to use one of these side roads as a base to fly from. We've actually come down the wrong track, so we're going to have to do a Yui. I'd go forwards and reverse back in, it'd be easiest. It always feels odd when you're on private property. It's very muddy underfoot now, isn't it? So walk into that castle over there would be quite a long way. Shame we didn't pack our Wellingtons for this trip. It would have been a piece of cake then. The only safe place we could find was to park on this road. And uh, there's the castle in the distance. So I'm just going to pop it up over these houses and see how close I can get, but keeping the drone in sight. But I've got a big problem. There is a very strong headwind and my drone can only just penetrate into it. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get anywhere near this castle today. If you're new to drone flying, never fly downwind if the wind is strong, as you'll never be able to get the drone back to you. If that does happen to you though, then the only thing you can do is drop very low to the ground and try and bring it back as the wind is less forceful at that level. So this is as close as I can get in these winds. So it was a dismal failure and I had to come back. And this shot is using the zoom lens on the drone. A good drone flyer knows when to admit defeat. So I turned it around and allowed the wind to bring it back to me. The Church of St Thomas Becket was the finest of three churches in the village of Winchelsea and that is because it had royal patronage. King Edward I ordered the town to be rebuilt after the storm and he was a regular visitor to check on its progress. This is the church that's dedicated to Thomas Becket, who was murdered in 1170. The first record of a church here was in 1215, which would have been Old Winchelsea, before they moved the town. And the first rector of the new church in New Winchelsea was in 1294. King Edward I was not the only royal visitor. 
So we've got the signatures here of the old Queen Mary. We've got the Queen Mother Elizabeth and George VI when he was Duke of York. And this is the late Queen when she was Princess Elizabeth of York, who visited in 1936. This area is known as the Pet Levels. These were once salt marshes, but are now more controlled and drained. It's a rich coastal habitat for migrating birds. Today, it's rather bleak and very cold. Here, you can see how half of this lake is frozen and still, and the other half choppy with the waves. This area was once prone to flooding and the huge seawall on our right is an effort to keep the sea at bay. In the past you can see that they were reliant on wooden groins to keep the shingle in place but the sea constantly moves it east towards the town of Rye. Dredgers pull this shingle from the seabed and pump it ashore and huge dumper trucks move it to where it's needed and then these bulldozers shape the beach. Well, it's pretty cold out here so I think it's time to bring the drone back. I think that digger needs to come down here and fill in some of these potholes. Looks like this van might be a full timer. Good luck to them. This seagull's having an easy day, just cruising along on the wind. You've bought all the goodies for tonight then. Yeah, very simple. Just visited the little co-op. Yep, support your well, local businesses. <laughs> what did you manage to get? Oh, I got you something really weird, right? Okay, here's what we're gonna have. We're gonna have a tomato soup. Mm -hmm. With chicken pieces in it, okay. and butter beans. Oh, I like butter and beans. Some nice rye bread. Oh, oh, that sounds nice. Yeah, a bit of butter. We look forward to that later. Yeah. We're 1.94 and it says it's 1.9, that's why we got out. It's cold out there, bunny. I've got the kettle on, so we'll soon warm up. What do you like? A nice cup of tea, please. The kettle's nearly boiled. We're steaming up. We're back in winter. Winter mode in the camper van. We're a little bit out of the swing of things because we haven't been away for a while, have we? No, but it's nice just being able to scoot around. Where you want. Yeah. Nice Hopefully we'll have a quiet night here. Get that bubble wrap in, bunny. It's freezing. What were we saying about it being a quiet place? That's three bikers that have just gone past at top whack. Well, who would have thought it? On a bleak little beach near Camber Sands, we meet Colin, one of our subscribers. Nice to meet you, Colin. Thanks for saying hello. 
I think we're going to miss being surrounded by all our clobber whilst we're relaxing in this fan bunny. Simple meal tonight. Some flame grilled pre-cooked chicken, tin of butter beans and a tin of Heinz tomato sauce. So we just tip it all in the same pan, heat it up quick and easy. And we'll put the chicken in a little bit later. Wonder what we'd be cooking in the new van. Who knows? Wonder what our first meal will be. Don't know, but we've got lots, lots of options because we've got an oven now, haven't we? Yeah, and I think we've got three gas rings. Yeah. And a grill. Ooh, 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 ooh. <coughs> we were going to butter our rye bread, but we decided that we'll give up on the butter because it's like a rock. So as it's a freezing cold night, I'm warming these bowls. They're getting some heat from the flame. I just turn them every now and then and they're warming at the side. Yeah. That looks tasty. Simple meal. Pass two. Bit? Yeah. Mm. This will do. Helped him a big breakfast, lunchtime. Is it all right? Yummy. Good. She's going for the dunk. Mm -hmm. Soak it all up. Mm. Good. Tasty bread. Mm. Okay. Enjoy.